PFAS contamination of drinking water in the United States is becoming more and more of an issue each and every day. Today I'm going to reveal the three best methods that you can use to remove PFAS chemicals from your water at home. Activated carbon filters are the most popular and effective option for removing PFAS from drinking water. These filters work by absorbing contaminants like disinfection byproducts, lead, and PFAS. With their porous structure, they trap larger contaminants while still allowing the smaller water particles to pass through. However, their effectiveness depends on factors such as water temperature, flow rate, depth of the carbon bed, and the types of PFAS present. While they can be up to 100% effective for a limited time, they eventually reach capacity and need replacement. Activated carbon filters are widely used in various treatment devices including whole home systems, under sink filters, pitcher filters, and countertop filters. Before I talk about these other two methods, do me a huge favor and give this video a like. Your support motivates me to continue sharing valuable knowledge and empowering others. Ion exchange systems are another effective solution for removing PFAs. These systems utilize a tank or cartridge filled with an ion exchange resin, either anionic or cationic. Cationic resins are negatively charged and remove positively charged impurities, while anionic resins are positively charged and remove negatively charged impurities. Acting like magnets, these resins attract specific contaminants, preventing them from passing through the system along with water particles. Anionic resins are the best choice for removing PFAS since these chemicals are typically negatively charged. Ion exchange systems have a higher capacity than activated carbon filters, but come with a higher upfront cost. The third option are reverse osmosis systems, well known for their thorough filtration. High pressure forces water through a semi-permeable membrane, blocking contaminants from passing through the small pores. The flushed wastewater then carries the contaminants away down the drain. Some systems are more efficient than others, but all RO units will waste water as part of the purification process. Reverse osmosis systems are most commonly installed at one single point of use, typically underneath the kitchen sink. However, whole house units are also available, as well as standalone countertop units that require no waterline connections. Each option has its own advantages and considerations, allowing you to choose the system that best suits your needs for clean and safe drinking water. But before selecting a water treatment system, it's crucial to first conduct water testing in order to identify the specific impurities present in your water. This will help you choose a system that can remove not just PFAS, but also other contaminants like lead, disinfection byproducts, arsenic, and VOCs, which are common in tap water. There's a link in the description to our favorite testing service, TAPSCORE. If you have any questions about PFAS or other contaminants in water, let me know down in the comments. And if you found this video helpful, give it a like and stick around to watch one of our other water quality videos coming up right now.